Hey guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shop here, and today we talk a lot about Victron on this channel. Uh, Victron is one of the biggest products when we were doing installations that we did and we used. I see a lot of people come through with, we see a lot of quotes and things like that. And the big thing people get quoted, especially when the grid's available, a lot of people say, well, this guy's offering this price, this guy's offering this price, Mike, why are the price is so much different? I want to show you a trick that I learned in the early days when it comes to batteries, and it applies the same thing to inverters and hybrid inverters. So this video is all about hybrid and off-grid inverters. Just basically some quick differences you can see and probably why the price of things are a bit more expensive from one offering to another. And I'll show you how to pick that you're getting a cheap inverter or not. Now, we love these Redback products. They're a really good product. Australian company, um, they design them. They haven't manufactured overseas, but basically they're all designed here in Australia. This is probably was one of our favorite um, inverters to install when it comes to a hybrid situation. Now, a hybrid inverter, just to think about it, with a hybrid inverter, the grid is pretty much always there. So the hybrid inverter is always relying on the grid to help it out. So it's never ever really, not never, but it's not put into a situation all the time where it has to be the source to power all the energy and be really reliable and give you that source. So all inverters are made that are hybrid to use the grid majority of the time to help support them out basically. So any big loads come in, it can just take it from the grid and you know let the inverter catch up and things like that. So they're very different. Now, I'm gonna talk about SMA today. So SMA got some really cool products. Now with SMA, and I picked these two to use an example because they're really simple to show. So they pretty much look the same. Yeah, this is a black and white SMA. We look at this one. We go down their products. So they've got this um, Sunny Boy storage, which is designed to be used on the grid in a hybrid situation. And then they've got these battery inverters. Now the two real main differences between these is this is actually a high voltage inverter. So if you go back, if you haven't seen the video, go watch my video on volts or volts times amps equals watts. It's pretty simple. So if you go back and watch that video about how to calculate the watt hour and work it out, you'll get an understanding of the higher the voltage, the lower the amps to give you the same watts. So these grid connected inverters seem to work in a very high voltage area. So this one here, the battery range is between 100 volts and 500 volts. So if you just do a quick calculation, just for those guys that haven't seen this before, just so you understand. So we want to pull a 2,400 watt load uh, from DC. And if it's a 48 volt battery, we divide that by 48. This is where we're pulling 50 amps from the battery. Now, if it was a 500 volt battery, we do that same calculation, 2,400 divided by 500. We're only pulling 4.8 amps from the battery. Now, when it comes to amps and losses and things like that, amps is heat. So the higher the amps, the more losses they're gonna be. So with the higher voltages, what that means is there's smaller cables and stuff like that. So they can actually make these inverters with less moving, or less copper and things like that inside them. So one of the tricks I wanna show you that I, back in the early days when it comes to batteries, it still these days, still applies today with batteries. I'll have a touch on that in a second. It's just the weights. Now, if you look at, uh, this is a sunny island, the, the off-grid inversion. So these inverters are designed to work off-grid and you know, they've got a generator for backup, but if they do need to do some heavy lifting, these generators can do it all by themselves, basically. Now, um, let's look at the weights. Where's the weight down here? Measurements, weights, cool. So look, uh, Sunny Island 4.4 is 44 kilos. Their six kilowatt inverter is 63 kilos. So there's a lot more copper and there's a lot more weight inside it. Now we go jump over here and have a look at the Sunny Storage. 26 kilos to 30 kilos, depending on the size. So let's have a look. They're five and six kilowatt inverter. Um, this this 30 kilos. So we're comparing that to, I think the other one was 60, 63 kilos. So that's a whole 23 kilos difference. Is that right? Um, these are a lot heavier. So it's one simple thing when you're looking, you're getting quotes and designs and things like that, and you're looking at, at a product. The heavier it is in an off-grid situation or even a hybrid situation, 
when you compare the differences. The more weight, the more copper inside, the better quality of the unit that it is. You know, you can do the same thing with Victron. You can go to their website and look at their hybrid inverters, which are their multi plus twos, which are designed to work with the grid uh, in mind. You can use a multi plus two off grid and it's actually better off to use a multi plus in an off grid situation. So, and you just look at, you know, we can see the physical dimensions, they're bigger, they're heavier and things like that. So it's one thing to check out. Same with batteries. I know a lot of people advertise with lithium. It's a huge thing people advertise with lithium to say, hey, look, you know, we've got the lightest, best lithium on the market, which is great. But if you look at a 100 amp hour lithium battery versus a 100 amp hour lithium battery in one way is eight kilos. You know, if you're looking at a caravan sort of thing, um, one way is eight kilos, one way is 12 kilos, and they give me the same amount of storage, I would choose the heavier one. Um, something's missing from the lighter one, because if you look at the weight of lithium, the weight of lithium doesn't change. So they all use the same technology, same chemistry. Something's missing from one of the batteries. So if one's eight, and that's a very common, if you look at the caravan motorhome sort of life, one's eight and one's 12. So I hope this has been helpful, guys. There's just a quick tip that if you are looking at the difference between a hybrid and an off-grid inverter, or even a really good quality hybrid inverter like if you compare this sma to some other the cheap ones on the market you will see that they're the better ones way more so appreciate it guys any questions just put in the comments below and we'll talk to you soon have a great day